Hello everyone, in this video I'll be covering what mods will be coming to console in Baldur's Gate 3's mod manager for PlayStation 5, Xbox, and Mac players. Now there's some mods that definitely won't be coming, which we'll be talking about in this video, but there's also a good amount of mods that will be coming in one way or another, so I'll be covering all of that in this video because there's tons of mods on PC already, over 2,000 of them, and there's only 75 mods on console, so I just want to touch on this because I've been getting asked a lot of questions surrounding this, and I've done a lot of research, so I just want to start off with some of these mods that I think will be coming. So this is by Echo 4000 or Echo 1000 000. This mod is incredible. The Artificer. I know a lot of people are looking for this mod as it's a Dungeons and Dragons based class. Now he has put it forward to be reviewed. So this mod is marked for release on console, but Larian needs to test and improve. Unfortunately, it's not in the mod creator's hands. It's in Larian's hands to see if this will work properly on PlayStation 5 and Xbox. So while this mod is incredible and the mod creator is also incredible, it's ultimately up to Larian. So don't go and harass any of the mod creators. They're doing their best to make these things available. However, I do have a feeling that this will end up making the cut because we already have the Mystic class, which has a lot more going on than this one. And so four subclasses, all unique icons. The Mystic also has a bunch of unique icons. So if we can use that to make our future judgments on, I do have a feeling that this will make its way to console eventually. Uh, maybe not right away. It doesn't really have a time frame on how long the mods take to get uh, tested. It seems like it's about a month from the timelines that I've seen, but some of them getting through a little bit quicker, like, such as dice mods. But I'm hopeful for the Artificer because this is one that a lot of people are looking forward to. So I do have hopeful. I'm very hopeful for this one. Now, the Demon Hunter, this is one that I previously didn't think would be coming to console, but uh, uh, it, the creator, Grumpy Wumpy here, is uh, building it in the mind of console as to if it'll pass their checks, but not yet, sir, because it's not available yet, but I'm hoping to. I did as well prepare for consoles, at least making sure I have icons for console compatibility. So, some of these mods, like the Demon Hunter, which is based on World of Warcraft, which I didn't think, since it's an external game, would be allowed into the in-game mod manager, but... Yeah, it's hard to say. Um, so the Mystic class, someone else was like, yeah, we got a Mystic class. So that actually gives me a lot of hope because they created this with the console in mind. So it does have some unique icons. But again, if the Mystic is anything to go by, there's we're allowed different custom assets and icons and stuff in the game. So I guess we'll just have to wait and see if that comes. But you even have the ability to turn into like a, a demon folk here, which is an in-game asset. So it does use some in-game stuff. But you can see the skill bar here. This is... This is the part that I was like a little bit worried about because these skills aren't, <laughs> I mean, they're kind of ripped from another game, but we'll have to wait and see. And another one that I've uh, just did a build on yesterday by ZX Wolfrain ZX. So this is the, uh, it's just showing weapons for this, but this is the Death Knight. So this is another World of Warcraft class and uh, is it planned to be added to console? I did mark the mod to be available on console, but it's under a kind of review before it can be approved. So hard to say. This one is definitely hard to say. Um, so, uh, for the console UI, I might have to adjust some icons, look into it. However, they a lot of these mod creators are working if there's an issue with the mod to get it corrected. I'll be getting into a bit of that in a moment here where there were some mods that were having issues that did get corrected and re-sent back to potentially be uh, put on console. So faces unlock. This is a very popular one, allowing you to use any character's face on any character. So you can literally put whatever you want on whoever you want. And it looks pretty cool. Minthara's face. Shadowheart's face, um, yeah, there's a lot of options, Hesterian's face, Halson, but uh, from the creator here, um, so uh, it's perfect for console players, not using external assets, um, it's a bit, it takes a bit of time for this to get approved, and eventually, hopefully sooner rather than later, also support anyone on coffee or any way that the mod creators want to get supported, if you want to help get more great mods in Baldur's Gate 3, never donate to me, just donate to the mod creators, they're the ones that are doing the hard work here, um, but uh, yeah, this here is impossible to add in any of these. So from what I've seen, uh, it's potential potentially going to come to console because this is an in-game asset. It doesn't new, use new shaders. And that was an issue with some of the previous cla uh, previous mods. So I touched briefly yesterday on Faces of Faerun, which was previously marked as being available for console from Mod.io's website itself. But uh, unfortunately, it's not coming because it uses external shaders and that causes some issues on console. But uh yeah, from what it seems, this one will potentially be on console. Um, but as you can see here, so unfortunately the main version didn't get approved, but Larian did contact me and say it's because of the shaders, because of the co texture edits I've made. They also said if I can make a version that does not include them, it'll be approved. So that's really great co confirmation here. This is by the mod creator themselves. 
This means the vanilla version I made should be approved. They just didn't get to it yet because it didn't include the assets I've made. Hopefully it'll be soon. So there is a mod, like potentially this will make its way. They, Larian said it will be proved if it doesn't have the shaders because they added custom shaders to make the face look a little bit different. But if it's using the base game faces without any additional shaders, I think a lot of mods will come. I was also reading that there were some weapon mods that weren't able to come because they were using... Um, they were using shaders on the weapons, but what the creators did is they went ahead and removed the shaders and that allowed it to go through. So I guess we'll just have to wait and see what comes of that, but it sounds like pretty good confirmation there that, uh, yeah, once they got the uh, shaders removed, it uh, it hopefully got at, will get added to console. And uh, does not include the heads of the editor because they're colored and match their body, so it'll look weird. Hester and a few others. If you guys want me to add them, just wait the color problems, I'll do it. Um, so yeah, there are some issues with shaders, but I'm hoping that that means that a lot of these will make their way. They said that Larian said it'll get approved. So fingers crossed again, none of this is set in stone. Anything can happen at any time. I don't want to say yes, this is a hundred percent because there's always a chance that something may go wrong. Now the divine soul sorcerer, I've been asked a lot about different five E subclasses that weren't added to the game. Like the divine soul sorcerer here by Nox T R X one. Um, so this already has official console release dated there um, in the change log. It's not fully available, but uh, latest patch has been submitted. It should be a matter of testing, so no ETA, which makes sense. Larian has been very, um, they haven't been able to say exactly what the testing procedures are, how long they take. We'll hopefully get some more information on that, but as of right now, we haven't had any of that, so we just kind of have to wait and see for a lot of these, but. They have it in their change logs. This will potentially be coming to console. And hopefully for people that are playing, uh, you will get to use something like this because I love this Divine Soul Sorcerer. Another one, the Tiefling Horns uh, regarding console availability here on Mod.io. Mods need to reach a certain criteria to be approved for console by devs. This means it's not up to the mod authors to decide, only to the market mods to be sent for approval. That being said, I'm working on making the mod available for console. So... They are making, trying to work it into being a console release. Um, so for people that want to have uh, <laughs> new tiefling horns, hopefully, very hopefully. Um, but again, Larian has been great for the creators that have sent mods to be approved. If there was issues with them, they told them, hey, remove the shaders. We'll have it approved. So hopefully that means that we'll get to see a lot of these. Another one, the Facial Animations mod. I love this. This is a great mod. If we go in and look right at my character here, you're going to start to see their eyes moving around, their lips moving around. I just love the little bit, bits of detail this adds to the game. If you switch to other characters, you'll see their faces move around a lot more frequently than they normally would, which I think is nice. Adds a lot of extra personality to the characters, and it makes them feel more realistic. So this is really a fun mod. I, I really enjoy using this one. And uh, it has been potentially marked for console, so... If you look into the comments, do you think it will be added to console? Yes, it's pending approval. Uh, pending approval for both consoles now, friend. So uh, the uh, PK Heartbreak with the creation of the facial animations mod. Love this mod. Very hopeful this will come to console. It's been marked for um, being pending approval on console. So, yeah. Again, if you are curious about any of these mods, you can check Mod.io. Look in the comments, see what people are saying, and see if the mod creator has put forward for it to be on console. I imagine a lot of them have. Now, next we have Mistress Spells. This is an incredible mod. You can see here tons of spells. Like we got Chaos Bolt. We got, uh, yeah, there's there's too many to count. Uh, this is basically the five E spells plus some more. So, uh, yeah, you can see here Cantrips, a long list. Booming Blade, Frostbite, Green Flame Blade, some of my favorite Cantrips, and Toll the Dead, Word of Radiance, and then level one spells, level two spells, level three spells. There's a ton of them, level four, level five, and level six. And then also um, a few different spells added to spell list for specific classes. So like Zephyr Strike and Death Double for the uh, cleric, Tempest Cleric, things like that. Now the creator for this one did say uh, we'll be porting this for Xbox. This mod is intended to be made with consoles because the um, this was made as um, they made it with the intention of it getting put, ported to consoles eventually. So it was designed entirely with the toolkit. The availability on this mod on consoles per currently pending approval, but I believe it may some take some time for authorization to release on console because it has to be manually tested. And obviously, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of uh, <laughs> there's a lot of spells to test. Now, uh, it takes some time for it to get approved. It should be approved in compatible console because it was built entirely within the toolkit. So they did a great job with making this because that's a lot of spells to get added. You can see there, lots of spells. And uh, 
very hopeful because if they made it within the toolkit, that makes sense. It should be allowed. Now, another one that unfortunately will likely not come to a console. So the Genocide class here, uh, which is one that a lot of people are asking for. I would like to know if you're going to put this mod on consoles. No, I doubt this console. This will work in consoles due to be having custom meshes. So uh, temp tapcoonist tap tapcoon set here. Um, unfortunately, not going to be making its way to console, which is a shame because the water genocide is really fun. They could create water as a spell. Um, they also are the creator of the celestial warlock, the shedder kai, and a few other spells here. Spell list editions. They've done a lot of really great mods. So. Um, unfortunate, but, uh, since it does use custom meshes, it won't, likely won't come. However, 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 someone else may make a mod similar to this with some le less, I guess, meshes, less things that could potentially hold it back from being added to console. So who's, who knows? We just have to wait and see, really. Um, Dante's Rebellion Sword. This is a sword that a lot of people are a fan of. Now, this one... Well, chance will come to console fingers crossed takes a very long time for approval that's kind of up in the air so i can't confirm or deny if this will make its way but it is a cool looking sword so hopefully now the owl in race this is a fun one i love this i covered it previously on our uh, race mod here this is a cool one and uh the uh, creator they uh, they tried to put it forward so we'll just have to wait and see i'm hoping i'll have to see what larian sends out in the console patch but also simp it. hoping it'll be a simple button push um and then they have sent it uh and it's stuck on pending approval. If it doesn't fix itself, I'll probably export it again. So the Allen mod creator, hornbird.mod, has put forward to hopefully get this on console. Very hopeful because, uh, yeah, I would love to have this. And it's using the Owlbear head. It's awesome. We really need this. Now, this head here, Maya head, uh, Playmon. You may be familiar with the Serafina head that just got added to the in-game Baldur's Gate 3 mod manager. This is hopeful because this is a mod. This mod creator has already had their previous ones added to console. So I have a feeling um, all my mods are marked as ready for consoles. The only area needs to test and approve all of them, and that takes time. So we may see the Maya face here. I think this is a great face. I like it a little bit more than Serafina, which has previously been. This is already available on console. You can see right there. So this one made it, uh, which gives me a lot of hope that the other ones will make it too. But uh, I guess we just have to wait and see. But this is good. They've they've already got one pushed through, so huge. Now, for mods that likely won't come to console, I know a lot of people have been asking for them. So, shaders. Obviously not. Unfortunately, uh, this is the main thing holding back a lot of other mods, like Faces of Faerun, from being added. Um, so, if you want to add custom shaders to the game. Unfortunately, only on PC, not on console. So, that's one thing. There's a lot of nice shaders out there that make the game look really nice. So, yeah. Unfortunate, but obviously there is some restrictions. Next, Tav's Hair Slime by Tori. I love this mod. I use it often. However, they don't have plans to port this to console. And uh, I've had some people talk about that previously. Really great mod. Um, but the thing is, a lot of these hairstyles you can make using K's hair extensions and the Bangs, Bangs, Bangs mod mixed with the base game hairstyle. So if there's something in here that you like, chances are you can make it yourself. So um, I guess I'll just briefly touch on that because uh, a lot of people have been asking about the Tabs Hair Salon because I use it in a lot of my videos. However, there's obviously some limitations there because if the creator of the mod doesn't want to port it over, that's kind of on them, which is totally respectable. It's a lot of work to do all this and it's work done for free. So I don't blame any mod creator for not doing that. But basically what this would look like is you would take a basic hairstyle. This is in the in-game mod manager. So uh, you can take basically any any normal looking hairstyle that you want here and uh, if you want to add a little bit of razzle dazzle here and make it look like tab's hair salon you can add uh from k's hair extensions you can go ahead with like all sorts of things here and you literally can recreate any hairstyle that you want like this is jahara's braids getting added to it um uh, lazelle's combo there we have the orin braid so these mods are in the in-game mod manager. This is available for not only uh, PC user, but console as well. You can have Shadowheart's little hair dangling there. Um, the Umberly's hair. So you can get really creative with these. And then there's also the K, uh, the Bangs, Bangs, Bangs mod, which lets you put custom bangs. So you can literally recreate Tav's hair salon at home. This is incredible. So yeah, this one's great. I really like this these two mods together because you can take some of the more basic hairstyles in the game combine it and then you can come up with some really cool combinations i know some people don't care much about the uh the customization but i know a lot of others do so i just want to touch on this because you can do it all by yourself it just may take a little bit of time 
And I've also spent hundreds of hours in the character creator, so uh, <laughs> yeah, I expect to spend hundreds more. But you can make it look pretty cool, so just want to touch on that. Back to that, yeah, Tabs Hair Salon's not making it, but we got it at home, so yeah. We also have the, uh, this is one that I've been asked about a lot, the Appearance Enhanced. So being able to customize the characters in the game. So adding, changing Shadowheart's appearance, changing pretty much any character's appearance. Now, unfortunately, I was digging through the 7,000 posts that are on here, and um, I'll just quickly find it here. Or I guess it's just a bit down. Um, it does not look likely. Uh, people are trying to uh, get this, obviously, to be made on the console, but uh, yeah, I don't think it will. So that's an unfortunate, the only unfortunate part. Um, and uh, Larian says no, so that is a no. Basically... Just, just one comment here. Please add this to mod IO. Some use Boost Droid to play, and that's the only way. Larian say no, so that is a no. Unfortunate, but we'll have to see. Maybe someone can find a way to make this work. Someone, maybe someone can recreate this in the mod manager. I don't know, but it doesn't seem likely that this will come, unfortunately. I know a lot of people are asking for it. I'm really hopeful that somehow this can happen, because it would be cool to be able to make Catsteria in here. Um, but we'll have to see. I'm not holding my breath because it hasn't come already, and I know this is one of the most popular and highly requested mods to be in the in-game mod manager, and we haven't seen it, so that's just... I don't think it's going to come, unfortunately. Now, some other mods. This is the one that I always use, like my character here currently has that face on. This is the... Um, I guess we'll scroll up a bit to show this off. Vampiren's Head mod. Um, there's a bunch of different faces here. I think this mod's incredible. I don't think it's going to come to console because this one does use custom shaders, but... However, people can recreate these different looking faces, um, not recreate them, but make things that are at least close to it. Like that's the face that I always use. They look great. Like these faces look incredible, but I don't think that it will make its way to console, unfortunately, but there's lots of face mods coming. So that's not a really big problem. And two that will obviously not be coming to console, the WASD movement mod, which <laughs> unfortunately keyboard and mouse won't be usable on Baldur's Gate 3 on console. I don't know, I've got my little tinfoil hat on right now, and I feel like it's just because they want to, like Microsoft and Sony want to sell more console, or controllers, uh, so they don't allow keyboard and mouse. However, I do know you can use keyboard and mouse on games like uh, World of War, or not World of Warcraft. You can play Call of Duty with keyboard and mouse. You can play Final Fantasy XIV with keyboard and mouse. I've done it in the past. So I don't know why you can't use WS the um, keyboard and mouse on Baldur's Gate 3 on console. It's just not made for it. I really wish it was because I think that's the best way to play this game. I love it. I've tried playing controller on PC and there's just no reason when keyboard and mouse exists. However, WSD not coming, unfortunately. I really wish it was because it looks it looks great. Um, it's so much fun to use. Like being able to just walk around and move around like with the WSD keys is so much fun. But I guess console kind of has that already. And then another one that won't be coming is the native camera tweaks mod. So the reason this one won't be coming is uh, like this is the mod that allows you to get literally right up in your character's faces. You can legit feel the <laughs> go right inside them if you want to. Like, yeah, there's a lot of <laughs> a lot of mods that I don't think are coming. And this is definitely on the top of the list because I don't know how it would work. But it basically unlocks the camera. So I love this mod for a number of reasons. It looks so cool when you go to like... Baldur's Gate City and you're just trying to look outside so uh, I guess we're ripping through the house here but yeah you can get a whole new view of the city with this mod I think it's an incredible mod I just don't know if this will ever make its way to console because of just the complexities of it and I don't know if consoles can be as powerful I know Xbox series the series lower version might not be capable of using something like this so it does cause some cause some issues, but I do love this mod, so it's a big reason to play on, on uh, PC. But yeah, I just want to touch on a bunch of mods that I think will be coming to console in Baldur's Gate 3's Patch 7, as well as just give some updates from some of the mod creators, and also show off mods that I don't think are coming. But let me know what mods you're most excited to see, and uh, yeah, we'll see y'all in the next video. Hit that subscribe button below if you haven't already. Appreciate all the support, guys. You're seriously the best. We'll see y'all next time.